My dear viewer, welcome again to our series of 40 days of prayer. And this is the 40th day. We have done it. This is so exciting. We thank God for being so faithful and giving us energy and zeal every day to wake and wait upon this program. Indeed, this is one of ways God is demonstrating his faithfulness in our lives and also proving to us that it is possible to walk with him every single day. I, this reminds me uh, a while ago when we had the 100 days of prayer, and again, we walked all through the 100 days of prayer. And this is again testifying, indeed, we can make it not just 40 days of prayer, but 365 days of prayer. And so this morning, as we get into our concluding remarks in the series of 40 days of prayer, I want to let you know that I'm so much excited and many of you have been speaking to me and telling me your experiences and what God has done for you. We are just here this morning to praise the Lord and, 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 and I want just to pray that your heart will find joy as you celebrate together the completion of 40 days of prayer. And today we just came to praise the Lord and I want to begin by you know, asking us to have a brief uh, prayer, and then we will continue. We'll get into our reading today. Our gracious Father in heaven, thank you so much for the precious moment that we have one more time today. As we come to the 40th day of the 40 days of prayer, what a journey that has been with you, Lord. We are so excited we just came to praise your name. Lord, I pray as we speak today through the scriptures, may your presence be with us, bless us, and accept our worship one more time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A song that came to my mind as you celebrate the, the journey for 40 days of prayer is a song that is anchored in the scripture. We just came to praise the Lord. And so allow me to sing. We just came to praise the Lord. We just came to praise the Lord. We just came to praise His holy name. We just came to praise the Lord. I just came to praise the Lord. I just came to praise the Lord. I just came to praise His holy name. I just came to praise the Lord. You just came to praise the Lord. You just came to praise the Lord. You just came to praise his holy name. You just came to praise the Lord. I just came to praise the Lord. We just came to praise the Lord. Psalms 1, 36. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, O oh, he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborns, for his mercy, endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy, endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, 
press him for his mercy, endureth forever. To him which divided and to him and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. Praise him. Glory be to his name. To him which smote great kings for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings for his mercy endureth forever. Seal, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for an inheritance, for his mercy endureth forever. We just came to praise the Lord, and we are saying, even an heritage unto Israel, his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Praise him who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever, and hath redeemed us. From our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Praise him who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, praise him who give and give thanks unto the, uh, unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Yes, today, as we end the 40 days of prayer, we simply just came to praise the Lord. Do you have a song in your heart to praise the Lord? Do you have a song in your heart to thank the Lord with? Do you have a song this morning or this afternoon or this evening in your heart to thank the Lord for this God who has walked with us for the 40 days in this prayer moment? This God is a good God. This God is a faithful God. This God is a gracious God. Imagine if it were not of him, where could we be today? This God who has given us the experience of the 40 days of prayer. This God who manifested himself in the general conference session and was there and gave the church leaders. This God who has been in your situation as a person in your family, in your life, in your career. This God is a good God and we have every reason today to pose and just praise him. I'm just saying, I came just to praise his holy name. Him who has made me to be what I am today, I just came to praise his holy name. This God, he's a good God. We just came to praise him. Did you have any reason to praise your God this morning? And I hear David saying in Psalms 128, Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. You see, this Lord, this God I'm talking about, if you love him, and if you walk in his sphere, Blessed are you. And in fact, he says, Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine, thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall be the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Only if you would fear him. Only him if, if you would walk with him. Only him if you love him and obey him. This God is good. He is, he is willing to bless you. Bless your wife. Bless your spouse. Bless your children. And overwhelm you with his blessings. I'm just excited to talk about my God this morning. You see. David says. This God is good. And I say yes. I just came to praise his holy name. I want to invite you as we pray today. Just to say with David. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him. O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord. In the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord. For the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name. For it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob 
unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great and thou and that our Lord is above all gods. Praise him, I say today. We just came to praise his holy name. Whatsoever the Lord pleased that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places, he causeth the vapors to us to ascend from the ends of earth. He maketh lightnings from rain. He breaketh the wind out of the, 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 out of the treasuries. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast. Who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of, of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings. You see, this... David says, is, this, I'm reading Psalms 135. This praise ye the name of the Lord. And I'm just saying here today, I just came to praise his holy name. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 135 and verse number 20 and 21. I just came to praise the Lord this morning. I just came to praise his holy name. Do you have a song in your heart that you can praise the Lord? Do you have a reason to praise him today, this morning, or this afternoon? I have much to praise the Lord for. I just came to praise his holy name. Who not you join me this morning to praise him? For his deliverance, to praise him for his spirit in us, to praise him for the miracles, to praise him for the healing power, to praise him for the revival he has caused, to praise him for bringing peace in our marriages, to praise him for many things that he is doing in our life. Won't you join me as we pray just to praise his holy name? Want to read Psalms 140 and verse number 7? O oh God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in thy day of battle. Grant not, O oh Lord, the desires of the wicked, father not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves as for the head of those that can pass me about. Let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning cause fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. I love my God. I just came to praise the Lord. I don't care of my enemies. I don't mind who is against me. For I declare today for myself and for you, not any weapon, whether from east or from west, from north or from south, that is cast against you, that is going to prosper. For we are on the side of the Lord and he shall keep our enemies away. He shall maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor, he shall fight for you today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Keep loving him. He is a good God. I just came to praise his holy name. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. Psalms 140 and verse number 12 and verse 13. 12 and 13. And know the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. And I seek to dwell in his presence. The formula is walk an upright journey and you shall dwell in his presence. Won't you join with me today? To celebrate the Lord and thank Him. Let's sing one more time. I just came to praise the Lord. I just came to praise the Lord. I just came to praise His holy name. 
I just came to praise the Lord. You just came to praise the Lord. You just came to praise the Lord. You just came to praise His holy name. You just came to praise the Lord. We just came to praise the Lord. We just came to praise the Lord. We just came to praise His holy name. We just came to praise the Lord. We just came to praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father and our Father. If it were not of you, where could we be today? Lord, we just came to praise your holy name. Because of your mighty deeds, when we remember the story of redemption, how you saved the children of Israel from the bondage of Egypt, mightily and walked with them through the difficulties of the wilderness, we are not afraid of tomorrow, for we do know that you shall still walk with us from every kind of Egyptian life that we're living in, from every bondage of Pharaoh of this age, into the promised Canaan. The path may not be easy. As Jesus has said, in the world we shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome. We know that we won't overcome because we are able to overcome, but we shall overcome because you overcame for us. Lord, if only we remain focused on you, fixing our eyes unto Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our journey, the author and the finisher of our faith, if we shall remain focused on him and fix our eyes unto him, Lord, we know indeed we have nothing to fear for the future, unless we can forget that indeed you are the one who has been with us. And so, Lord, this morning we just came to praise your holy name. We just came to praise your holy name because you are God worthy of our praises. We just came to say thank you, Lord, for gift of life. We just came to praise you because you did many are the battles you're fighting for us. At times we, don't, we do not understand how you struggle with us, how you keep our enemies away. We thank you, Lord, because you're committed. And indeed, there's no one who shall come unto you that will be overcome by the evil one. The blood of Jesus is sufficient. And we claim its merits. And this morning, Lord, we seek to be maintained and preserved in your presence. Lord, may you help us to walk an upright path that we will be together with you and placing you and doing your work as we await the second coming. Thank you, Lord. May you have your way in our lives. May you accomplish your purposes for our life. And may you glorify yourself through our lives when you honor the trumpet to sound. And we shall be found in your kingdom. What a day of rejoicing shall it be. Thank you, Lord. Great is the faithfulness. Morning by morning, new masses we see from you. We are just excited to know that you are a faithful God, a loving Father, and we have nothing to fear if we are in you. We surrender to you, Father, to revive us, to equip us, and preserve us for eternity. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my dear viewer. Thank you indeed. I'm so humbled to know that you've been waiting for these programs every single day. We have come to the end of the 40 days of prayer, but not the end of prayer life. Continue praying. Continue walking with the Lord every single day. Seek to secure time to be with the Lord and pray. Pray for your friends. Pray for your family. Pray for your enemies. Pray for your workmates. Pray for your bosses. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your country. Pray for the leaders. Let's saturate our life with the prayer. This manner, we shall keep the evil one away. And we shall live a peaceful life. Remember, on this platform, 
more other programs are coming. Just click that red button there to subscribe if you have not done that, that as we roll down other programs, we shall, you shall be notified and you shall be part of these blessings. Continue sharing these messages even after the, this experience. Continue sharing these messages with your friends and with as many as you can. Pray for me as I pray for you. Till next time, God be with you.